Hey friends and neighbors, my name is Jared Kennedy of Gospel Centered Family, and recently I published a new book, a board book for toddlers and preschoolers entitled Jesus is Bigger Than Me. And as the folks at New Growth Press uh, and Audra Jennings in specifically, and I were working on the marketing plan for the new book, uh, Audra asked me a question. She said, Jared, what's your favorite miracle story? And man, it's really difficult to choose a favorite but if I have to pick one for the video, um, I'd, I'd love to talk with you for just a minute about the story of Jesus calming the storm from Matthew chapter 8, verses 23 through 27. Um, this is a story you probably know. Jesus and his men are headed out onto the lake. It's been a long day of ministry, and so they get in the boat, and Jesus immediately uh, takes a nap. He immediately falls asleep in the back of the boat. Um, and as soon as the Savior's asleep, a furious storm uh, rises on the lake. Um, and it's so fierce um, and so intense that even his disciples, who were seasoned fishermen, are fearing for their lives. The waves are crashing over the side of the boat. They're not able to, to bail water anymore. And they, they run to the back of the boat and they wake up Jesus and say, we're perishing, we're drowning, we're going to die. And the way that Jesus responds to his men in that moment is just amazing. I recently heard Daniel Emery Price on his podcast compare the way that Jesus speaks to his men, his brothers, and the way that he speaks to the storm. Uh, he speaks to his men and he corrects them for their lack of faith. He says, you have little faith. And he asks them a question. He's, he says, why are you so afraid? He wants his brothers to trust him and trust um, his deity and his power over nature. But he looks at the storm and he rebukes the storm. Uh, in the go each, each of the Gospels, it says that he saves his harshest words uh, for the forces of nature that are threatening his children, that are threatening his brothers. Uh, Jesus, Jesus speaks, peace, be still. Each one of these miracle stories that we see in the New Testament um, is a true story, but it's also meant to be a picture, point beyond itself at the salvation that Jesus offers to us. And this story reminds us of the fact that we were sinking deep in sin, um, that we were under the curse of death. But when Jesus comes, we can look at him and have faith and trust him. And he speaks to the storm and says, peace, be still. Because God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son so that whoever looks up and believes in him would not perish, would not drown, but in him have eternal life. Here's how I told the story uh, for preschoolers in the board book. Jesus woke up and looked at his friends. Why are you so afraid, he asked. Then Jesus spoke to the storm, stop, be still. Right away the wind stopped howling, the rain stopped falling, the thunder stopped booming, the waves stopped splashing, everything was calm. Peter and his friends were amazed. Jesus is truly God. Even the storm obeyed him. Who do you call when you are afraid? When you're afraid, you might call for your mom or dad, but you can also call upon Jesus. Jesus is truly God. Even scary things obey Jesus. I love how in the story, um, it begins with the fear of the men about the storm. And it ends with their fear and amazement about who Christ is. Um, the, the men were amazed and they asked, who is this man that even the wind and the waves obey him? He is our savior. And my prayer for this book, my prayer for um, you, even as you just watched the video today, is that you would be reminded that in the scary world we live in, and there are a lot of things to be afraid of, um, that we can put our faith in our savior knowing that he's the one who offers a great salvation to us. Fearing him, 
is the beginning of wisdom. Uh, having an amazement about who he is is the beginning of, of a life of faith. And that's my prayer for you and for your kids. Peace.